A new episode of Sarah's music is being shot, and one of the world's most famous opera singers has come for lunch, Placido Domingo. And here's another star, Russian opera singer Anna Netrebko. They're delighted to be the guests of French horn player Sarah Willis. If you're a musician or involved in uh, music, you know, you know what Sarah is doing, you know. It is so wonderful, this program, so be looking forward to make a career and you will be interviewed by her, okay? <laughs> so. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. Sarah's Music is a new Deutsche Welle programme that aims to give a fresh and unconventional take on the world of classical music. The biggest challenges for Sarah's Music for me is recording the programme in English and in German. I've lived in Germany a long time, but these articles, Der, Die, Das, you never learn it. You just never learn it. So that, that's a big challenge for me. The other challenge is, I think, for the whole team, is that we've had so much fun recording these last uh, episodes that there's just so much fantastic material. I, we don't want to throw any of it away. So to get everything into 12 and a half minutes, that's also a big challenge. This episode is being shot in Salzburg. Hundreds of thousands of music fans flock to the Austrian city's annual festival every summer. Sarah Willis has been here plenty of times. I love being in Salzburg. We played here with the Berlin Philharmonic for many years at the Easter Festival, and so we know every corner and every cafe. And um, a personal highlight would be all the cakes in the Apfelstrudel in the, in the cafes here in Salzburg. Really amazing, but dangerous. <laughs> In 2001, she was the first female brass player to make it into the renowned Berlin Philharmonic. And so, a dream came true. I studied in London and we did a chamber music tour with some other students. We watched a rehearsal here and as I sat in the audience and heard the sound, I thought to myself, this is it, this is my ideal sound. I just wanted to be near this wonderful orchestra. But she didn't stop there. She also enjoys smaller and less conventional venues, such as nightclubs. And she's also very involved in schools, in the hope of instilling a passion for music in youngsters. But she's also a woman of the digital age. She uses social networks like Facebook, Twitter and Google Hangouts to promote classical music and, of course, her new show. And she's always doing her best to offer a new and unusual perspective, like here at the Salzburg Festival, where Anna Netrebko is seen singing from behind the stage. Sarah's music gives viewers a glimpse of what goes on behind the scenes of the classical world. Her motto is, music should be fun. If you've had a boring music teacher at school, you grow up thinking classical music is boring. But we think it's fantastic, and I'm really happy to have this chance to try and communicate that in a different way, with a lot of humour. So stay tuned for the next episode of Sarah's Music on DW.